Hey y'all, Jackie, why do you sound like a husky man? I'm pretty sick, but I'm really in the mood to do some makeup. Um, so that's why I'm here. I'm going to be doing an eye tutorial, an eyeshadow tutorial with the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. Mine's a little bent. I'm not sure how that happened. It's definitely me, but it did. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Please ignore my husky voice. I do have some water, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna do my face real quick. Let's get started. I'm back y'all so that took way longer than I anticipated but I am done with my face I'm highlighted ready to go I don't have lipstick on because ain't nobody got time for lipstick before eyeshadow so I'm gonna start with the Urban Decay eyeshadow priming potion I should probably get a mirror give me two seconds I'm back I do have my big mirror here but I mean I want to be able to see, you don't want you to be able to see what I'm doing so I'm gonna start with my priming potion, which is just a travel size, and I think, I mean, it's pretty cheap. So, just all over the lid, up to the brow. <coughs> Jesus Christ. I apologize, I do say Jesus Christ, like, quite a bit. I'm not 100% sure why. I think my mom says Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, like, really consistently. So I picked up something similar quite the same though so the priming potion was all over the lid all the way up to the brow bone I did do my brows before foundation which isn't normal for me but I um, wanted I did my brows for school which I already had because it's five in the afternoon and so I did them for school and then I was wanted to make a video so I just decided to use the brows that I already had on you know don't jeez, dip into more so I'm gonna take the white peach color this like white nice really light color and apply it all over from my brow bone with this like flat brush from my brow bone down to my lid and I use kind of a padding motion one, because I see Nikki Tutorials do it consistently, and I love her more than anything. And two, because I think it kind of packs in the product and gives it a really nice base for the eyeshadow to blend onto. And I use the white rather than the um, like tanner color because it, um, it highlights my brow bone. I like to highlight my brown bone with matte colors, with matte colors instead of like this highlight because I have kind of textured, there's a fly, I've kind of textured skin, which, oh my god, which um, causes it to look kind of funny, which it doesn't look that bad on my cheeks, the highlight, but sometimes it looks kind of funny, just me putting on makeup in general. I'm making this face all the time. <laughs> I'm going to stop. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is the um, Puree down here. It's kind of a darker transition shade, but I'm going for kind of a smokier eye. I love doing smoky eyes. Not sure why. They're really difficult to perfect and take forever. But I'm putting Puree in the crease of my eye. And if I keep switching between these two Sephora mirrors, it's because this one is really magnified and this one isn't. So I'm just going to blend 
this into my crease. And the reason I do this, I know there are some makeup artists or makeup people who don't do this and I'm not 100% sure why. I think it's because they have kind of deeper set eyes already and maybe bigger eyes. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this like purple color delectable, oh my god, over here, this color called delectable and I'm gonna add this to my crease as well for a little more definition and for a little more um, purple <laughs> I love this tone it's kind of a grayish purple which I don't see in my other palettes you see kind of redder purples which are very pretty but they're not quite the same I'm also using this um, Sephora mini color switch thing and my Morphe R40 brush to blend everything out because this brush is the greatest thing. It blends so nicely. Morphe, shout out to you because your stuff is so cheap but it's super high quality. It's really lovely and everything works perfectly. These brushes are from Walmart because ain't nobody got time for expensive brushes. I have very few that haven't come with palettes. After that, I'm gonna go in with um, Tempting, which is this straight black matte color. And I'm gonna add this um, to my crease and to the um, outside half of my eye. This is the smoky part of smoky eye. I don't do super dark smoky eyes because I have, my eyes are like a dark, dark brown. Almost, not quite black, but they're very close. And with smoky eyes, I feel like my actual eyes get pretty lost. I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow on a daily basis because one, it's kind of annoying to keep up with and I'm constantly checking like, ooh, is my eyeshadow okay? And I constantly want to like fix it. I know I say like all the time. Just ignore me. But also I have this habit of rubbing my eyes. Wow, I look like a raccoon. Um, rubbing my eyes 100% of the time. Literally wherever I go, whatever I'm doing, I'm rubbing my eyes. So eyeshadow plus eye rubbing do not mix at all so if you're gonna wear eyeshadow learn to not rub your eyes beforehand so when I look a little bit too wreck geez computer hold on I'm gonna turn the volume down when I look a little bit too raccoony like right now I don't it's it's fine but I like to add a little bit of um, this tan color peaches and cream also this color switch thing is the greatest thing I have ever seen. Did you see that powder? Wow. Um, it's the greatest thing because it not only lets me use every color with one brush, it um, makes the color kind of pop more. I'm not sure why or how it does that. It just does. See, now I look a little bit less raccoony and more just pretty. So now I'm going to take this flat brush again, run it against the, this, this is literally all I do and I can use it again. And I'm going to use my favorite color in this whole palette, Luscious. Um, and I'm going to, I like to do a wet application, but I do it much differently than I've seen like other makeup gurus. I take the product onto my brush beforehand and then I take some setting spray and then I spray it just once. And then, geez. <laughs> and then I apply it to my eye. I've seen a lot of people or makeup gurus and, oh, do you guys see this? I'm sorry. But I've seen a lot of like makeup people, they will 
um, wet the brush and then dip it into the product. But I found that that leaves the product like in the pan looking a little weird and not quite right. It like gives it a funny texture which I really dislike because then when I want to use it dry, it makes it like super strange. But I mean, they're really much better at makeup than I am, I think. <laughs> Jeez. So the one thing I'm noticing about this palette as I'm using it, wow. <laughs> Two sprays of setting spray, and this is like straight up blurry. So the one thing I'm noticing about this product is it's very powdery. Like, there's powder everywhere right now. It's everywhere. And powdery doesn't necessarily mean bad. Like this, if you can see my eye right now, I'm not sure you can. You can see how well it like, it practically cuts the crease without using any concealer. And I don't even know how to use concealer to cut a crease. It doesn't make sense to me. I've tried, I tr filmed a video that was like, cutting my crease with and it was this beautiful purple smoky eye and it was so bad because I couldn't figure out how to cut the crease and these sorry <laughs> these colors just are fabulous as you can see this is pretty great and then I'm going because it's just it's peach I'm gonna take this pink color Georgia and I'm gonna take this little brush here and I'm gonna put this underneath my um, waterline I guess like underneath my lower lash line okay that is not dark enough so I'm gonna do candied peach which is this slightly glittery color and I'm gonna take this and put it underneath there it is that's the pigment I wanted I'm gonna put this, I don't usually put anything underneath my eyes because I have little eyes, I think. I might not, but I've always thought I had little eyes. I'm gonna mix this with Summer Yum, which is like a burgundy, like that color, very pretty. Um, I've always thought I had smaller eyes and I've always been very self-conscious of my eyes. My dad has very small eyes. Um, but, so I don't usually put anything underneath because it kind of closes your eyes a little bit. At least that's what I've seen through watching way too many YouTube tutorials. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> when I work on my left eye, I don't like to talk because I just have to focus because it's, <laughs> because it's my bad eye. It usually, this one turns out much better than this one 98% of the time. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to wipe it on this and then smoke out the edges. That's what it looks like. I'm going to put on liner and lashes and I'll be back to close out the video. Alright guys, my look is done. Here it is. It's got some purple undertones up here and some pink down there. I really think this is quite beautiful and with um, my special Sephora lashes I really enjoy this look and I think you could wear it. Honestly you could wear it just around your house which is what I'm going to do. I put on just a pinky nude lip that I bought a while ago from like Singapore. It was $2. <laughs> um, but this is it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!